Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, i share ko sa inyo ang 12 secret messenger tricks that you need to know. Before we continue guys, if hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please consider subscribing and pakiclick na din ang bell notification para updated kayo sa next uploads ko. Okay? Here we go! Trick number 1. Ignore messages. If ayaw mong malaman ng kachat mo that you have already seen his or her message, i-ignore mo sa messenger ang chat ng person na yon. Sa regular chat, pag nasin mo na ang message, mag appear ang profile pic mo beside the message of the sender, which means message seen. Now, i-ignore natin ang person na to. Long press the chat, then tap ignore messages. A pop-up message will appear. Ignore this conversation, press ignore. Another pop-up message will appear for this conversation has been moved to spam. If you want to check the new location of the ignored message, on the upper left of the messenger chats, click your profile pic and select message request. Next, tap spam tab. Ayan na yung ignored messages for that person. If he or she sent you another message, kahit isin mo, walang indicator sa sender that you have already seen the message. So aakalain ng taong yon na hindi mo pa seen ang message niya. Trick number 2. Mute messenger notifications. Kung may taong makulit na nag-chat sa'yo and nadi-disturb ka na sa message notification pero ayaw mo namang ignore or i-block ang person na yon, especially sa messenger na marami nag-chat, the remedy is mute messenger notifications. Long press the chat of that person or the group chat, a pop-up message will appear, then select mute notifications. Next, mute this chat. There are three choices. Mute message notifications, mute call notifications, or mute both message and call. I will choose mute message and call. Then click OK. Finally, another selection pop-up will appear for the duration of mute message notification. And I will select until I change it. Then click OK. A gray muted bell icon will be visible as a mark that the notification for that chat has been turned off. Trick number 3. Turn off active status. Pag online ka sa messenger, may green dot in the lower right of your profile picture. While if recently active naman, may time stamp of minutes recently active. If you don't want your FB friends or others to know that you are active on Messenger, here's what you gotta do. Click your profile picture, scroll down. As you can see, the active status is set to on. To turn it off, press it and you will be redirected to the active status page. Hit the show when you're active. In the pop-up message, tap turn off. If you go back, the active status is now set to off. However, if sa messenger app ka lang nag-turn off ng active status, sa messenger app lang din yun mag-take effect. And if nag-login ka sa Facebook mo and nag-open ka ng messenger doon, your active status will still be visible. If you want your active status to be hidden also in Facebook Messenger, you have to turn it off also. Log into your Facebook account and on the upper right, tap the menu icon. Scroll down and click Settings and Privacy. Next, hit Settings. Scroll down, then select Active Status. 
and press show when you're active. Turn off active status. Turn off. After doing that, your online or active status both in Facebook Messenger and in Messenger app will be hidden. Trick number 4. Customize status in Messenger. Aside from online or offline status sa Messenger, marami pang Messenger status available. To check it, tap your profile picture. Click Custom Status. There you have it, the various custom status with time duration. I will try BC. Naka-default ito for 1 hour. But you can change it by tapping Edit. A pop-up message will appear for remove status after a certain time duration. Pag i-click mo ang custom, a calendar will appear. But I will choose 1 hour only, then click update at the upper right, and your busy status has been set. Your new status will be visible to your friends who are on messenger like this. Ano ang use nitong custom messenger status? Di ba minsan may mga person close to you na kapag hindi ka kagad nakapag-reply sa kanilang chat, minsan nagtatampo. At least with custom status like busy, aware sila kung bakit hindi ka kagad nakapag-reply. Trick number 5, Secret Conversation. If you don't want your messages to stay in Messenger, there's a way to do that. I-activate mo lang ang secret conversation. Just tap the chat or profile picture of that person, then at the upper right, click information icon. Scroll down and select go to secret conversation. Magkakaroon ng padlock icon sa lower right ng profile picture na chat mo. Now, send the first message. Sa phone naman ng kachat mo, may padlock icon din once you activate a secret conversation. Then try disappearing messages by clicking the info icon sa upper right. Next, select Disappearing Messages. May options dito for the time duration of the stay of your messages in the chat before it disappear. I will try 5 seconds. While sa phone ng kachat mo, may notification also once you turned on Disappearing Messages. And your message will disappear too after 5 seconds. Trick number 6, Search in Conversation In individual conversation or sa group chat, pag may message ka na gustong balikan pero natabuna na, you can use Search in Conversation to easily locate the message. Open the chat. Next, tap the information icon. Then select Search in Conversation. On the pop-up dialog box, type a word in that old message that you want to find. In this example, I will type Rocket and click Search. The match messages with the word Rocket will appear with date of that message. Select mo na lang ang date ng chat that you are looking for. Let's say January 26. The message will then be retrieved wherein naka-highlight ang word that you search for. Trick number 7, Share Live Location Let's say meron kang imi-meet up na person or may taong pupunta sa house nyo pero hindi sila familiar sa place. Try to use Share Live Location for easy location search. Open the chat of that person you want to share your location. At the bottom left, press the more icon, the four dots. Then click location. A live location will now be shared sa kachat mo. Sa phone naman ang kausap mo, a message will be sent for your live location. Upon clicking it, he or she needs to press allow location access. 
allow when using the app. Then the live location will be displayed with get directions option. Press lang niya and choose Google Maps. Once your contact reached the destination, you can now stop sharing the live location. Trick number 8. Check messages for non-friends. If someone who is not your friend on Facebook sent you a message, may notification that a certain person wants to send you a message. To check the content of the chat, go to Messenger. Tap your profile picture, message request. As you can see, there's an unread message count. Just click it and also the message. If may mga pictures na included sa message, those are covered. You can tap a picture to see its content. If you trust the person, just reply even with a simple thumbs up. Then all the photos will be revealed. The message will be transferred also from the message request to the main chat. But sometimes the message request of a non-friend in Facebook do not go to the message request inbox. And therefore, wala notification. Paano mo ngayon siya malalaman? To check a hidden message request in Messenger, just tap your profile picture. Message request, then select spam tab. Here, See its content. If you trust the person, just reply even with a simple thumbs up. Then all the photos will be revealed. The message will be transferred also from the spam messages to the main chat. Trick number 9 Word Effects. If you want to add an animation sa chat mo when you type a certain word or phrase, try using word effects. Simply tap the message of that person and hit the information icon on the upper right. Then select word effects. On the message box, add a word or phrase. Let's try good morning. Then add emojis by clicking the emoji icon on the left. Next, choose the emoji or character that you want. And finally, press the white arrow to add your effect. Now, go back to the message and upon sending the word or phrase with added word effects, several of the characters will rise from the bottom. On the other hand, pag binasa ng kachat mo ang message with word effects added, the animation of emojis or characters will also rise from below. Trick number 10. Turn on and off message pop-up. For example, busy ka mag-research and suddenly may gusto makipag-chat sa'yo. Upon receiving ng message niya, it will just pop up for a while and you need to manually check the message to read it. Upon clicking the message, you will be redirected sa main chat. Para makabalik ka naman sa ginagawa mo earlier, you need to minimize the active apps. If gusto mong continuous ang conversation nyo while doing your thing, just go to the messenger, then long press the chat of that person. In the message pop-up, select open chat head. Go to settings, scroll down to locate the messenger app, then turn on appear on top. 
a message bubble with that person's profile picture will then appear. With message pop-up on, pwede kayong mag-chat without you leaving the current screen. If you want to view and reply to the message, just tap the bubble. Pwede mo ding i-move ang location ng message bubble around the screen. Furthermore, if you want to remove the message bubble, just hold and drag it sa X mark at the bottom of your phone screen. Kung sa tingin mo naman abala ang message pop-up, better turn it off. Simply go to your phone's settings, apps, scroll down to locate the messenger app, Tap it, then scroll down. Click appear on top, then turn off allow permission. For our second to the last trick is number 11, mention all in a group chat. Sometimes you need to mention everybody sa messenger, but it's not practical na mention mo sila one by one. The best way to do it is to use the mention all feature of the messenger app. Punta ka lang sa group chat nyo and on the message box, input at sign. Scroll down at the bottom of the group chat members, then select everyone. Next, type your message and send it. For our last but not the least trick is number 12, make a poll or voting in Messenger. For some decisions na kailangan ng involvement ng lahat ng members sa group chat, you can use the poll or voting feature in the Messenger app. Just click the chat in your GC, then at the bottom left, press the more icon, the four dots and select polls. You have the option for a text poll or most likely two. I will choose text poll. What's your poll all about? It's the title of your poll. I will name it weekend bonding. Next, add options. Once you're done, press Create Poll. To cast your vote naman, tap Vote. Then select among the options for your choice. Then hit Submit. There you have it guys, the 12 secret messenger tricks na ngayon alam mo na. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed or learned something from this video. See you next time! Bye!